The virtuous women aren't born, they are made. And today we're going to be talking about Mary, uh, Martha and Lazarus' sister. And the reason I chose Mary, actually I chose her for two reasons. And I, the first reason was that when Jesus was going to come visit Mary and Martha and Lazarus, uh, Martha was really busy. And I'm sure so was Mary. And here's Martha, you know, I'll just moving pots and pans and putting the beans to cook and you know maybe she's frying some pork well no no pork chops right uh, she's doing something in the kitchen and she's washing and she's cleaning and the house is never clean enough and she's just so frustrated and she's busy doing all these things and then she looks over and she sees Mary there, how we say in Spanish, you can see better wins. I mean, she's there with no shame, just sitting in front of Jesus while she's so busy. And uh, some people would be like, well, you know, Mary, Mary was being lazy or, you know, Mary wasn't doing her job. But you know what? Guys, I've learned to understand that when Jesus is around and or when you need to have your Jesus time, you need to leave the dishes. You need to leave the homework. You need to leave whatever it is to get you some Jesus time. And that's what Mary did. You know, sometimes we're really busy. We're like soccer moms. We're baseball moms. We're basketball moms. And we're moms. We got to cook. We got to clean. We got to work. We got to be a wife. We, we got to do so many things and we're just so busy and sometimes we forget to give our time to God and that and then we wonder why we're all stressed out and we're yelling at the kids and we're yelling at the husband and everything just frustrates us and we're like being like Martha we're being like Martha because it had Martha been in the presence of God Martha's attitude would have changed her whole face you know she would have turned that frown into a smile because with some we need our Jesus time you know the the work is always going to be there the homework is always going to be there the house no matter how much you clean it it's always going to get messy you know and we need to take some time for jesus and that's what that's what mary did you know she says i can clean later i can do this later but right now i just need to sit in front of my lord and just you know take him in so what does that mean yes it means going to church for example i have church tonight we have church wednesdays fridays and sundays but it's more than just church it's your time with god it's your time in prayer it's your time in the word it's your just time in, in worship you need that time because if you don't have that time the stresses of life are going to overtake you and you're going to see that your joy is fading you're going to see that you're not as happy as you used to be you're going to notice that you go to church and you're bored you go to church and you're just counting the seconds until you leave because you already lost that joy you already lost that happiness why because you're overloaded you're overworked you're overstressed and you're overworked you're overstressed you're you're overthinking because you're not giving time to just worship and say you know what I'm not gonna worry right now about any of these things that are going on you know I'm just gonna you know turn on my favorite CD and I'm just gonna worship you God you receive the honor and the glory God you you are with me Lord and I'm I'm not gonna I'm not going to worry and you're going to help me and you're going to give me the patience and, and you just start talking to God and praising him and just telling him how you need him and how you need him to work in you and, and he will. So if you want to be a virtuous woman uh, and this goes to being a virtuous woman because how you feel and how tired you are and, and how stressed you are and how burdened you are is going to really affect everybody else because you're gonna be talking to them meaner if you're overstressed you're gonna be having less patience if you're overstressed so it really does affect you believe it or not so bring all your burdens to God and make sure that in your busy life I know you have one in your busy life make time to God he's your center and he is your peace and he is your joy and you need him to carry on so I hope this video was a blessing to you. God bless.